An outpouring of support from across the entertainment world tonight following news of the death of singer-songwriter Olivia Newton-John. Fox's Laura Ingle takes a look back at her extraordinary life. Olivia Newton-John had a career spanning more than five decades, which brought her adoring fans the world over. She was born in Cambridge, England in 1948 and was the youngest child of Professor Bryn Newton-John and his wife Irene. The family moved to Melbourne, Australia when she was five years old. Newton-John landed her first big break, winning a talent contest on a popular TV show, which earned her a trip to London. And by the age of 15, she had formed an all-girl group. Appearances on daytime TV shows and weekly pop music programs would follow, but most will remember one of her greatest roles as the beloved character Sandy in the 1978 movie musical Grease. Tell me about it, Stan. Newton-John catapulted into superstardom after co-starring with John Travolta in the musical, which produced duets You're the One That I Want and Summer Nights. While Newton-John became a household name after Grease, she had a long list of credits to her name, selling over 100 million albums worldwide and winning multiple awards, including four Grammys and nine American Music Awards. Her U.S. album debut, Let Me Be There, produced her first top 10 single of the same name in 1973. And later she earned more success with her first number one hit, I Honestly Love You. She had 10 number one hits in all, including 1981's Physical, landing her on Billboard magazine's top 100 songs of all time list and sexiest song of all time. One of her most treasured titles, though, was that of mother. Having daughter Chloe Rose in 1986 with her first husband, Matt Latanzi. Newton John married her second husband, John Easterling, in 2008. Health issues took center stage in 1992 when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer on the same weekend that her father died of cancer. Her diagnosis led her to become an outspoken advocate for health awareness. Her personal triumph over cancer led her to create the Olivia Newton-John Cancer and Wellness Center in her hometown of Melbourne, Australia, something she spoke of often. The wellness programs are something that was my dream to bring to the Cancer Center, which I'm very proud has my name. In April 2014, Olivia began her residency at the Flamingo Las Vegas with Summer Nights, a musical journey through her career in movies and music. I'm very grateful that I've had such a long career. I never dreamt that I'd be so lucky. She was touring her Live On album this year, which featured a collection of personal songs about grief and healing when she announced she had been diagnosed with cancer once again. The singer posting on her official website that she was postponing her North American tour while battling the disease, which had metastasized to her sacrum. In one of her last messages to her fans, Olivia Newton-John thanked them for the worldwide outpouring of love and concern. In New York, Laura Engel, Fox News. Olivia Newton-John's husband says she passed away peacefully at her ranch in Southern California this morning, surrounded by family and friends. She was 73 years old.